Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Groover, and I'm here with Dr. Norris Goldberg. Hey. And uh, we're celebrating a great achievement. This doctor has uh, completed the level one of the NUCA certification program and has passed the test for level two and is now in the process of uh, submitting x-rays for that level of certification. And I would like to read his achievement, which is uh, pretty outstanding within any profession to go through this level of, of rigor and discipline and achieve what he has achieved. Uh, the National Upper Cervical Chiropractic Association uh, has uh, a statement about its certification program and I'd like to read to you uh, what Dr. Goldberg has achieved. The NUCA technique and the certification program are often viewed as one of the most difficult and rigorous training programs in chiropractic. It requires a paradigm shift regarding techniques to understand that is the complexity of that it is the complexity of the upper cervical biomechanics, including regional neurological mechanisms that are unrelentingly demanding down to the last fraction of a degree. It is being able to effectively apply distinctions developed and taught by NUCA to the atlas subluxation complex that allow a doctor the easiest, most predictable, and consistent ability to reduce the C1 subluxation complex. The doctors that have completed this program and received board certification have gained an uncompromised skill in the understanding and correction of the atlas subluxation complex. Through training, a certified NUCA doctor is better able to address the many subtleties associated with the reduction of the atlas subluxation complex versus the management of illusions based in errors and inaccuracies. The completion of the NUCA certification program is time and effort well spent for the difference that it can make in the life of the doctor and their patients. So here are the uh, requirements that Dr. Goldberg has met. Level one candidates will be tested on their ability to take accurate x-rays with excellent image quality. The image must be properly positioned and all structure identification must be clearly seen at, on all films, in this case, digital images. An online examination is required. The standards of this level of certification are that the doctor has the knowledge and applicable skills in the following areas. Understanding of x-ray procedures, theory about distortion, magnification, and collimation, structural identification on x-ray, x-ray filtration, proper x-ray technique and exposures, image quality, patient adjusting steps and purpose of the individual steps, NUCA historical perspective, use of NUCA equipment for patient care, leg check and an anatometer procedures, neurological mechanisms of the region of the cervical, upper cervical spine, uh, patient positioning for, or for cervical x-rays, and a passing grade of 80% is necessary for the online examination. The x-ray requirements for candidates of level one for which Dr. Goldberg has completed are four x-ray views. They're called alignment films. And uh, the format is found in, in the NUCA textbook. And uh, this is required in order to participate in all three levels of the NUCA certification. So now we did the alignment films based on an x-ray alignment procedure, very rigorous procedure that we both went through here at this office. And uh, it took about 40 man hours to accomplish that. So it was a really big accomplishment. Um, then after those four alignment films are completed and 
accepted. Then five pre-X-rays that are taken before the corrective procedure. Uh, these would be at, in their unanalyzed form and they have to be consecutive. And they demonstrate the necessary protocols for patient placement in all three views, lateral, nasium, and vertex. So those five x-rays are completed. And then two consecutive sets of both pre and post x-rays demonstrating the necessary protocols for patient placement. Critical, critical points of consideration include proper exposures, the use of appropriate filters, proper views of structures, for example, the posterior arch of the nasal view, and the minimal distortions, the, for instance, rotation and, and the location of structure on the x-ray film. Any submission provided for review must be a current submission and the films taken must be within 30 days of submission date. Previously reviewed x-rays may not be resubmitted and after the first set of five pre-films have been approved, an additional requirement of two consecutive sets of both pre and post x-rays needed to be submitted. So the post x-rays are the x-rays that we take after the initial corrective procedure so we can evaluate the quality of the correction. Um, this set of pre and post films are used exclusively for the criteria of patient placement used in the first five sets of films. Once a doctor has completed and passed the online exam, alignment films, five consecutive pre-x-rays, two consecutive post, pre and post x-rays, they are eligible as a candidate for the second level of, NUCA board of the NUCA board certification process. So congratulations, you've done it. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> I want to give you a present. This, uh, this is a plaque that was hung in my office for 21 years. And I'm sorry I'm breaking up over this, but I, it, you might know that I love this work. I love the benefits that we're able to give patients through the work. Uh, our patient outcomes are beyond anything anyone could dream about. And uh, so this is the NUCCA NUCA National Upper Cervical Chiropractic Association plaque that uh, I would like to pass on to you. Oh, thanks, Doc. And, and uh, maybe you'll be passing it on to your children. Yeah. Um, but I want to give you my hugest congratulations for what you've done. Thank you. Couldn't and look forward to seeing your accomplishments in the future. Couldn't have done it without your help. Really glad that you're here at Coru and uh, helping a lot of people here. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome.